Chapter 3 Managing Files and Folders An operating system is a system software. When you switch on the computer, the operating system gets initially loaded into the computer and manages all the other programs in a computer. The other programs are called applications or application programs. Users can interact directly with the operating system through a user interface such as a command line or a graphical user interface, GUI. For example, Microsoft Windows is a graphical user interface, GUI. When the operating system is loaded, you see a screen called Desktop. Desktop has small pictures on it. These are called icons. An icon can be shortcut to a program, to a file or a folder. Understanding Windows Explorer Windows Explorer is an application that displays the content of hard drive and folders. You can use it to navigate all the files and folders on your computer. This makes Windows Explorer a file manager application. It is also known as file manager. File A file is a collection of related data, information, settings or commands that are used with a computer program. In Microsoft Windows, files are shown as unique icons that relate to the program. A collection of related files can be grouped in a common folder. A folder can contain files as well as other folders. Folder Folder or a directory is a virtual container in which groups of computer files can be kept and organized. Folders can also store folders. A folder inside a folder is called subfolder. Creating a file or folder Let's create a folder on the desktop. Step 1 Right-click on the blank area of the desktop. Step 2 Click on New option and it will open into a submenu with a lot of new things you can create. Step 3 Choose Folder option. Doing so will place a folder with its temporary name new folder on your desktop and leave it highlighted. Step 4. Change its name by typing its new name. Naming a file or folder. To change a folder's name, Step 1. Click on the name of the folder. Step 2. Click on it again or right click and select rename. Step 3. It will highlight the name, which means putting the block of text in reverse colors, which allows you to change it to whatever you want. Deleting file or folder If you want to delete a file or folder from your computer system, you can do it with the help of following steps. Step 1. Right-click on the required file or folder that is to be deleted. Step 2. Select Delete from the menu. The Delete Folder dialog box will appear. Step 3. Select Yes option to delete the file or the folder. The deleted file or folder will be moved to the recycle bin. Although you are sending a file to the recycle bin, that does not mean you are completely deleting it until you empty the recycle bin. Getting back file or folder from the recycle bin. If you have not yet emptied the recycle bin, you can still recover a file or folder you did not mean to get rid of. Step 1. Double-click the recycle bin icon. You will find all of the files you have deleted since the last time you took the garbage out. Step 2. Select the file. Step 3. Select Restore this item option or right-click on the file and choose Restore. The restored file will be moved to that particular location from where it was deleted. Emptying the recycle bin Step 1 Double-click recycle bin icon Step 2 Click on Empty the recycle bin option Step 3 It will ask for confirmation. Click Yes or No or hit Y or N on the keyboard. Shortcut 
a shortcut is an icon that provides an easy and quick way to open any application that we use frequently. It allows users to create links to their programs in any folder, taskbar, desktop or other locations on the computer. To create a shortcut Step 1 Right click on the desired program, file or folder. Step 2 Click on Send to option. A side window will appear. Step 3. Select Desktop, Create Shortcut. A shortcut is identified by a small jump arrow at the lower left corner of the icon. Views Windows Explorer offers a lot of different view options, including the following. Content View it displays one item per line with information about that item, including date modified, size, author or type. Tiles view It is a grid of small icons for each item, with file name type and size beside each file icon. Details view It is a line listing of each item with columns for name, date modified, type and size. You can rearrange the columns by clicking and dragging any column head to a new position. List view It lists the contents of the folder. No other details are displayed. This is probably the most economical view. Icon view It shows individual icons for each file or folder, size from small to extra large. To switch views, step 1. Click the Change Your View button on the right side of the toolbar. Step 2. Select the view you want. For the icon's view, use the slider to change icon size. The size can vary, so you are not limited to stock 2 or 3 sizes only. Grouping Files and Folders Step 1. Right-click on the blank area. Step 2. Select Group by option, a sub-menu appears. Step 3. Select the appropriate option. Step 4. Then select the order in which you want to list, either ascending or descending. The different options by which you can group are Name, where files and folders are arranged in alphabetical order. This is identical to details view but with files and folders mixed together. Date modified where contents are grouped by the date when they were last modified. Type where files are stacked by file type, double click on any stack to view all files of that type. Size where files are stored according to the size. Sorting folder contents Whatever view you are in, you can sort a folder's content by following these steps. Step 1. Right-click on the blank area. Step 2. Select Sort By from the pop-up menu. Step 3. Select how you want to sort, name, size, item type and date modified. Step 4. Select whether you want the contents sorted in ascending or descending order. For more sort options, select more from the pop-up menu to display the choose details dialog box. Check those details you want to display and then click OK. You can then sort by one of the new details by repeating the steps just listed. The new details should show up in the sort by list menu.